Tonight, a real mystery in Coconut Grove after thousands of pricey koi fish turned up dead over the past couple of weeks. And Local 10's environmental advocate Louis Aguirre was on the scene with homeowners who woke up to the shocking sight. Well, I can tell you that homeowners are heartbroken. They're devastated. We're not talking about a couple of fish. We're not even talking about hundreds of fish. We're talking thousands of fish that all of a sudden wound up dead, floating on the water. And the scary thing is, is that this scene has been repeating itself at different homes here in Coconut Grove over the past several weeks. And the big question is, why is this happening? Oh, all these beautiful koi fish and other fish just dead on the bottom, just awful, it's horrible. Lee Marks and his family are devastated. Most of the koi fish and other exotic fish that lived in their pond at their Coconut Grove home for 20 years turned up dead Saturday morning. Beautiful fish. They just don't all die at once like that. The scary thing is that they are, and not just here. So sorry. I tried, but this one did not make it. Jen Wheeler is the owner of Pond Doctors. She services fish ponds all over South Florida. In the past two weeks alone, she's responded to five homes, four in the same Coconut Grove neighborhood, that have all experienced similar devastating fish kills. Thousands of fish turning up dead from one day to the next. And to have them suddenly passing away for an unknown reason is really scary because you also start to think, what else is this affecting other than the fish that we are in love with? And it's more than just fish, birds, plants, even mammals. At least two wild raccoons have also died, all in the same neighborhood. It came up right up the driveway, close to the front door, turned on its side, looked like it might be playful, but it was convulsions and it just died. To have so many uh, animals all having uh, effect by this, something's going on. Wheeler says the oxygen levels in all the ponds she serviced was normal. She even called the only mosquito company authorized by Miami-Dade County to control infestations. It wasn't them. They had not been spraying aerially since 2017 and had not used their trucks anywhere near the areas we're having problems. Dead fish also turned up at the pond at Miami Simpson Park. The common denominator is that all the ponds source their water from wells connected to the aquifer. We are still trying to figure out no matter what, what's in the water and what is causing it. So both Durham and FWC have been contacted. I can tell you that water samples have been taken at other ponds that have been affected by this. As soon as we get those results back or get any information on what's happening here, we will pass it along to you here on Local 10 and on Local10.com. In Coconut Grove, Louis Aguirre, Local 10 News.